So in this third part, I'm going to be covering more detailed static meshes. So in this pass, I usually kind of look at everything that I have available and kind of see where things fit like Legos. So let's look at the content browser in full. So this is with no filters. Uh, so I'm just seeing all the possible combinations of things I can use. So just looking through this, I see some cool things like you know, there's armor pieces, there's axes, helmets, more interesting rock formations, trees, snow, you know, different arches, different walls. And looking through this, I see a piece that has a nice sharp angle. And we kind of need a sharp angle for our castle. This, these sharp angles on the left on the left and right of our towers. So I'm going to minimize my content browser and scroll down and select this throne room, throne room exterior deco 03. Now that looks like a nice cool piece. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select my wall and my window. I'm going to lower it just a bit. Select these walls. There's four of them on each side. And I'm going to lower them down. And I'm going to lower this guy down, turn on my scale to about 1.5. 1. Now I'm going to take this guy and rotate it 90 degrees. And turn on universal scale and set it to about three, four, let's go for six. Hell, even seven. And we'll drag this out and put it on top of our tower and see if we need to make it even bigger. Yeah, probably need to make it bigger. So let's uh, use the scale widget and just scale it up. And kind of hide it behind about there. Maybe rotate it 180 degrees so it points the other direction. Clone it, rotate it 180 degrees the other way. And there. Now let's add some more detail to the back of our tower so it gives it more 3D shape. So I'm just going to copy this wall, clone it, rotate it 90 degrees. drag it up and oh see there's a lot of Z fighting back here so we don't want that so I'm gonna just lower this keep that and then clone it to the other side it just gives our tower some depth and I'm gonna delete these cubes so we don't need those and I'm going to select these guys again and clone them over and make sure they line up nicely. Okay. Now I'm going to add a little more depth, uh, some more wall stuff down here to give our hallway a little more uh, 3D look. Let's copy that top wall. And I'm gonna scale this in the Z. Oh, let's scale this in the Z by 3. And rotate this 90 degrees, 180 degrees, and put it down this hallway as well. And then in fact, I can copy this arch, 
so that we can have that repeating shape. And I can scale it in just a little bit like that. So looking at the concept, uh, the curve piece is gonna go the other way and mine go the opposite direction. So I'm just gonna try to figure this out. So we'll rotate that. We'll probably scale it down to about 14 to Z. About 14. Rotate that. In fact, I'm going to change the direction. I'm not going to copy the concept exactly. I'm going to like. Kind of like a, an odd 45. It's kind of an, off, an offset angle. Yeah, I kind of like that look better. Uh, so the next piece I'm going to do is some uh, metallic trim. Actually, I'm going to... So I'm going to go to my content browser. I'm going to type trim. And there's uh, throne, exterior, wall trim, metal, zero, 01. Scale that to uh, universally to four. Rotate it. Put it up here. And then clone it. And rotate it. Go to my local transform. And we can probably turn off universal scaling and in the Y, no sorry, in the X axis go to about six. Even five, let's say. Then we will duplicate that, right click, transform, mirror Y, and line it up with this wall over here and this I can go about uh, since I rotated it you have a negative direction so I'm just going to keep that consistent with negative six actually keep it at negative five and I'm going to just pull in these rocks a little bit Alright, now I'm going to add some pillars to my archway. Let's type pillar. And I'm going to go with the throne interior pillar 01. I lock it in global scale to about 3, maybe even 3.5. Rotate it. Go even four. And then we can duplicate these in the back. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to do that back there. 
do something else later. What we will do is copy this guy, lower it, lower it, sorry, sometimes it's hard to speak, and put it on that. All right, now I'm going to add some more pillars to add and accentuate the wall details. Back to my content browser. I'm going to do pillar seven. Scale that to about a four. Make sure my universal scale is on. Let's rotate that. 90. Put it up there. Clone it. And clone it a third time. And duplicate it. And duplicate it again. And add in some rotation. Try and lower that down. Clone it. Right click, transform, or Y. And put that right about there. Now we can copy our metallic trim and add it up here as well. In fact, before we do that, let's make sure our pillars are touching the top of our wall. I'm going to duplicate that. Just give me a second here. Now, since I duplicated that, I'm going to delete these guys. Delete this one. So things stay a bit more uniform. That's starting to look pretty cool. And now we can add some uh, caps to the top of our pillar. I'm gonna go pick the damaged zero three and damaged zero two. So since this is a scale of four, we're gonna have a universal lock on. Set that to four and set that to the and I'm going to use this. Sorry, to add some details to the top of these guys. And four is a bit too big, so let's go with three. Maybe in two point five. And then we'll kind of alternate these guys around and change the rotation so things look a bit different. And set this to two point five as well. Again, I'm using the global lock on my scale, so it goes in all directions.
Just going through and adding these around the map, around my pillars. And just keep changing the direction around so they're not the same. They just don't look the same at first glance. Adding in more detail, and uh, we'll see what we want to do next to add in even more detail.